Hello everyone and welcome to another update video. I realize we had one of these very recently, but we have to do another one again because I need some of your feedback. Now if you do not have all the time in the world to watch this entire video, do not feel bad. A complete synopsis of everything I will be discussing will be in the description, so feel free to read that if you don't have all the time in the world today to watch this video. Speaking of watching this video, the gameplay that you're seeing is from Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Nothing in this update video is about that game or anything to do with Monster Hunter. I simply just had the footage lying around, so that's what you're seeing. The reason I do this is because, well, people like to look at stuff when they're hearing information. That's a proven fact. So instead of a black screen, look at this mediocre gameplay. <laughs> but moving on, the first thing I need to talk about is I've not really made this perfectly clear yet, but I am actually doing a co-op race with my good friend Aaron Itmar on his channel of Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD. If you are a fan of Kingdom Hearts and you're a fan of me, you might want to check this out. The series goes up on Aaron's channel every Saturday, and so far it has just been a blast to record these episodes. I really, really hope that you check them out. Uh, currently we are on part 5, so... If you're watching this and you don't actually know about Aaron's channel, give him a sub. He does a lot of really great videos, specifically Smash-related news and stuff in that nature. So if you're interested in that, there you go. But yeah, the series will be uploaded every Saturday. I have been shouting him out on Twitter, but I don't think all of you follow me on Twitter or even have a Twitter. So I thought I'd make this the first topic. So make sure you check that out, and a link will be in the description. So now that we got that out of the way, let's discuss my next quote-unquote let's play in eight days persona 4 dancing all night will be released in north america and as you may imagine i'm extremely excited for that and i obviously want to make video content but here's the thing you can't really make a let's play of a rhythm game i mean wouldn't you think it'd be weird if i did a let's play of dance dance revolution the mario Ver oh maybe i should do that <laughs> but no no uh, I really do want to make video content of Persona 4 Dancing All Night, but I really don't think that commentary is the best way to go about that. As you can imagine, it is sort of difficult to commentate on a game that is solely just music based. So what I'm thinking about doing is simply just making videos showing off all the characters, all their moves, and some of the songs. I may do story mode, but seeing on how Atlas USA really doesn't want me to do that for whatever reason, I may hold off on that for a couple weeks and then maybe do it, depending if you guys want to see that. Now the reason I'm asking this is because, well, this is pretty much uncharted territory for me. I've never really played a rhythm game like Persona 4 Dancing All Night. So I'm a little unsure exactly what type of videos you guys would want to see. Honestly, I do want to do a little mini review and I definitely do want to cover the game because I'm very excited about it. But yet again, I'm not 100% on which videos I should make for specifically. So I thought, hey, why not build up hype for the game? Let me know which videos you guys want to see. And yeah, the game comes out very soon. I'm really excited about that. But this segues partially into what my next discussion point is. Currently, we have like four games being played on the channel all at once. We have Banjo-Kazooie, Devil Survivor 2, Record Breaker, Mario Maker, and Splatoon. That's a lot of games. With Persona 4 Dancing All Night coming out, that's five games being uploaded all at the same time this has never happened on the channel actually so I want to clarify what exactly is the highest priority and what will be uploaded first so at the moment banjo Tooie is my everyday series Monday to Sunday it's gonna be banjo technically Sunday's first day of the week whatever if I can help it and I know I've had a couple snags in my recording schedule banjo Tooie will be uploaded every single day but there lies the question of how does Splatoon and how's Mario Maker and Devil Survivor fit into that schedule? Well, at the moment, I want Devil Survivor to sort of be my side series. As you guys know, I complained a lot about the editing, and at the moment, I'm still pretty much burned out from covering Persona 4 Golden, where I really don't want to do a ton of editing at the moment. But I'm slowly getting out of that rut, and Devil Survivor is becoming more and more fun to record as a result. So I'm thinking of not just doing Sunday... Saturday and Friday and maybe progressively once you know I get out of this rut uploading more throughout the week but therein lies the question of Mario Maker like when when we do that in a perfect world I could somehow have it all the time in the world to record Devil Survivor Mario Maker and Banjo but unfortunately I only have like five days to record a week guys it's really impossible for me to record on Monday and Tuesday which is primarily how this update video is coming out on a Monday but yeah I don't have 
that much time at the moment, and I don't really have the best recording environment, so I obviously can't do that. So we need to figure out when we want these projects uploaded. I want to keep Banjo-Tooie every single day. I want to keep Devil Survivor sort of as a side series. Maybe keep Mario Maker a bit higher priority. I don't want Mario Maker to be an everyday series because perfectly honest with you, they take a lot out of me. Like pretty much every Mario Maker you've seen, that is like an hour's worth of footage just chopped down into tiny little bits. And yeah, that's obviously going to be really hard to do every single day. So I'm not exactly sure on that. Maybe every other day? That'd be pretty possible, actually. But yeah, and then, then lastly, Splatoon. I'm not exactly sure what to do with Splatoon. On everything on my channel, pretty much everything has more demand than that series, which I, I perfectly understand. The game's been out for a while, and it's not like I have that many Splatoon fans as it is, but I feel like if I started making more content, that would change. I was thinking about like Splatoon Saturday, which sounds pretty cool, but... I'm not really too sure, to be honest with you. So any input on that, how badly you guys want to see it, would you want to see Mario Maker over Splatoon or vice versa, let me know so I can gauge how often we should do that. I was thinking maybe like a once a week series for Splatoon, that would be really, really cool, since I've kind of been wanting to have one of those for quite some time, so I'm thinking about doing that for Splatoon, because I definitely do want to play the game over again and just, you know, actually enjoy the game that I purchased, because that's sometimes a hard thing for Let's Players to do, but yeah, any input on that would be fantastic. Now I'd like to discuss when these videos should be uploaded. Now, for me, I live on the East Coast. I know I have fans all around the world in all different time zones, so figuring out what works best for everybody can sometimes be a little difficult. Now, for several years now, I've been uploading 430 EST pretty much every day. And when I have a second video to upload, that usually goes up at 730 EST. But I'm a little bit worried, as I've said, but I'm a little bit worried that actually isn't giving you guys enough time to watch everything and, you know, not be overflowed with content. The last thing that I want to do is make too much content that you guys can't all enjoy it. Now it is true, you could just easily look at the playlist if you missed a video, but not really everyone does that, and sometimes people just forget about it. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm eventually going to have a video later on this discussing our finite decision, but yeah. If we uploaded three videos a day, what times would you like to see them? At the moment, I'm thinking of like noon EST, then four, then maybe eight. That might work for everybody. What I'm thinking of right now is if I did a Mario Maker at 12, and then a Banjo-Tooie at four, and then a Devil Survivor at eight. That way, there'll be a little bit of time in between videos so you don't get overflowed, and we can get all the LPs that I plan to finish this year done in a timely fashion. On all the things I discuss in this video, this is probably what will have to be a later video. Now, I've made a link to a straw poll in the description below, when is the best time for you to see videos? As picking up 430 EST was kind of just a decision on my part, it really had nothing to do with you guys, which come to think of it is a really bad idea. This isn't just my channel, you're a huge part of it too. In fact, a way bigger part than I am. So making sure that you guys are happy over my own personal schedule is important. So we got four games, soon to be five. I want to finish all of them and make content for all of them. Let's work together so we can do that. The straw poll in the description, as I've said before, please vote on that. It's just to see when is the best time for you to watch a Johnny Awesome video. And later on, we'll work out how we want to tackle double uploads and triple uploads. So please contribute to that poll. It'll help me out a lot. And okay, now that we have that taken care of, and hopefully you have casted your vote, let's move on to our future Let's Plays now. Of all the games I was going to cover in the fourth quarter of this year, a couple of them got delayed. I'm going to briefly throw up my sort of LP schedule, and I have purposely blurred some of the objects on here, but yeah. Three of my next Let's Plays have changed a bit. First being Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. This has been one of my most requested Let's Plays. I briefly attempted it way, way back, and I've really been meaning to come back to it. But at the Tokyo Game Show, a newer version, a more enhanced version of this game has been announced. So obviously I don't want to play the inferior version when the new version's coming out. So that LP has been delayed. Another LP that has been delayed is Star Fox Zero. I've been really looking forward to this game. I love Star Fox a lot. That has been delayed to 2016 as well. So that kind of sucks. But it's not the end of the world because Persona... 
Oh yeah, Persona 5 has been delayed too. Well, how about that? So we don't really have that many LPs planned for the last quarter of this year. This is where you guys come in handy, as always. Please leave any suggestions for Let's Plays. They can be role-playing games, they can be platformers, they can be Nintendo, they can be any company, just let me know. As all the projects I have been planning have kind of just, you know, they're not coming out anymore, so what am I supposed to do about that? So yes, please leave your suggestions for Let's Plays, but make sure they are a game. At the moment, I do not really want to tackle any visual novels or anything of that sort. This is a channel where we play games, not read books. Keep that in mind. If it's slightly similar to a game I've played in the past, chances are yes, I will want to play it. So leave any worthwhile suggestion and I will consider it. It is true I still have two LPs that I've blurred out on this list, and I will get to them, but in the meantime, we need a little bit of a backup plan in case those don't go as planned. So if there's ever been a game that you just completely adore, and you'd love to see me make a LP of it, now is your time to suggest it, and hopefully I'll have time to play through it and then make an LP. And okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's now discuss something that you guys have been wanting to see, and I unfortunately have not been able to supply it. Live streaming. Now, the reason I have not been doing a ton of live streams is because the time it would take for me to set up a live stream, get everything prepared, make the announcement video, I could just dedicate that time to making a normal Let's Play part, which a lot more people would be able to see and enjoy, so logically for me, it's smarter to make Let's Plays, but I do understand that people want to see me stream, and to be honest with you, I also enjoy doing it a lot, and it's something I've been meaning to get back to, but the way that my current schedule is, is very, very difficult to do, so I think I found a solution. Instead of having a streaming schedule, I'm planning to have special streaming events. Instead of picking a random day that I just feel like streaming some random game, I think it'd be a lot smarter to announce the day that I'm going to stream way ahead of time so everyone can prepare, then remind you guys of it several times, and then have the event. I'm going to test this with something that I've been meaning to do for an extremely long time, and that is the bonus content of Bloodborne. As you guys know, the Chalice Dungeons I still need to cover, and this will be my sort of remedy for that to prepare to fight the secret boss of that game. This is a bit of an experiment to see if this is better than just deciding to do a random game, but during the first week of October, Friday, the first Friday of October, we will have our Bloodborne streaming event. I think planning out these events like this is going to be a lot smarter, make a lot more people happier, so mark your calendars for that. We are going to have Bloodborne content on this channel again on October 9th in preparation for the Bloodborne DLC, which, yeah, yeah, come on, guys. Of course I'm going to do the Bloodborne DLC. <laughs> a couple people were asking me, John, hey, did you hear about that? And I'm like, you better you better believe I did. So, yeah, we're going to get all that started. It's going to be awesome. Look forward to that. And another thing you should look forward to is the Persona 4 and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep bonus videos. Yes, this is just a brief reminder. They are coming. Trust me. Persona 4, it's coming. Birth by Sleep, it's coming. Don't worry, guys, I haven't forgotten. Although, if there are any bonus videos that I have forgotten or you'd like me to make, this is just a nice little reminder. Tell me, and I'll get right on that. I'm only human. There may be things that I promised to do and I actually never did, and if you're interested in it, let me know. That's the only way I'm going to actually get back to doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. Feel free if there's anything I have forgotten to do in one of my Let's Plays. I will get back to it. I just need a little bit of a reminder. And with that, we are almost done with this very hastily put together update video. Last but not least, I know a lot of people are very upset. They were looking forward to a Persona 5 Let's Play on my channel. But sadly, the game got delayed. But that does not mean we have to stop making content. Because of the most recent news that we did receive, there's a lot of Persona 5 news going on. So I have a lot more Persona 5 videos planned. So if you're interested in that, if you want it to be like a semi-weekly series, I can definitely do that. I do have a lot of theories, I do have a lot of speculation, and I do have a lot of, you know, suggestions in top 5 videos and top 10s, actually, that I've been writing in my spare time. So I definitely want to cover more news and speculation with Persona 5 until the game's release. Sort of like a countdown in a sense, but not really, just sort of to keep the hype going until it actually gets released. And with that, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Most importantly, check out Aaron's channel if you want to see that Kingdom Hearts race. It's really awesome. 
please give it a look. It would mean a lot to me personally. And make sure to vote on what the best time for you to see a daily video would be. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.